Well, hello, and welcome to the channel. Today I am on the Vamax Roadster X4S, and I am going to the top of the beast, the mountain, right behind me. 1,200 feet at engine board, make it to the top. I do not know, but I'm going to give it a try. If you are thinking of getting a budget-minded, smooth-rolling, super soft, cool, flexible deck board that can tackle mountain passes, this just might be the one for you. Well, that is my starting location right down at Donner Lake on the Vamax Roadster X4S. I have made it about three miles up the climb, very steep from the beginning, and then it kind of levels out. So really impressed so far. I've been going about 18 to 19 miles an hour up the climb, and I have almost drained the battery completely. But then again, this is one of the hardest challenges for any electric skateboard that I can really put them through. So I'm gonna go until it's dead. I'm gonna keep on going. Maybe I can make it to the Donner summit bridge i'm not i'm not certain i don't think it's gonna make it but i've been on one bar for a while now and the thing <laughs> the board just won't die it just keeps on plugging along and it is also it's uphill it's somewhat windy i guess and it's cold so everything's against this little board for sure I'm not really sure why the remote showed the battery draining so quickly, but about here, I'm only a mile and a half to the top, and I was like at one bar on the remote, and I thought for sure I wouldn't make it, but it kept on pulling strong. So there might be some calibration with the remote, or you know, if you're on a pass and you can head back down, maybe just keep pushing it. And if I'm anywhere near the Donner Summit Bridge, I am gonna push and go for it because this is the greatest spot on the mountain. About here I could see the summit and I knew that I could make it even if I had to push kick this board to the top I was gonna make it hell or high water. Donner Summit. <laughs> this is incredible. It made it. I did not think in a hundred years this board would make it up this side. This is by far the hardest climb in Tahoe. And for like a board that costs four hundred and eighty dollars to get up this thing at the end going 13 miles an hour I still have some battery left the remote says no battery but it doesn't matter because I'm at the top and now I can regen back down and <laughs> I thought this was gonna be a waste of time like right from the start I was like no way it's making it I drained the battery on that first initial climb so fast and it is windy enough to almost send the drone out of the sky. So it made it. And hub, hub drive too. At 19. Dropped down to 13, but it was steep. And I'm going into the wind. So, yeah. Uh, not, not too bad. Now all I had to do was get back down off this mountain, which I was actually pretty excited about because this small board is just long enough to be just like a downhill longboard and it is super nimble, quick, and it just rolls so effortlessly. 
that I had to use a lot more brake than I am used to. Which is somewhat of an actual good thing because it makes it feel more natural heading back down off the mountain that you are just using gravity to get back down, but with the safety net of having brakes. So, Baymax Roadster X4S with a Samsung battery. This thing's supposed to do over 20 miles. It will do it. It made it to the top of the water summit. It will absolutely make it because that climb is tough. It is cold and windy, not optimal. Uh, the board does great going uphill. It did drop down to 13 miles an hour. That's kind of be expected as it does drop below really that 10% battery even. So still solid. The only thing that I noticed was actually when I came back down, because this board rolls so efficiently, you gain speed like crazy coming back down. You let off the brake and it just goes poof. It wants to fly down the mountain so fast. And the brakes, because of that, are a little bit touchy because you gain so much speed so fast and the brakes are just on or off almost. It's You have to be real gentle with that rolling wheel because it wants to brake hard and it would brake hard enough to send you off the board off the front so uh, just you have to be aware if you're doing mountain passes and you're coming back down this thing will break you into oblivion and send you flying so you just have to be real real easy on the brakes but when you're going fast you gotta stay fully focused on that braking because it, the board is just so efficient going down there's there's no resistance from belts from gear drives nothing to help help those brakes out i mean the brakes are efficient i gained about two and a half bars coming back down and i drained the sucker all the way down to nothing on the way up board that it, it handles more like a downhill board which i like it's almost a better carver it's more efficient um, when you let off the throttle it just glides rather than the belt drive it stops you so overall, it's a lot smoother board. It's a lot more comfortable. It's longer. It's lighter to carry. I mean, like the wheels on it, the tires, I mean, are incredible. I mean, there's, I mean, if you're on a budget, this probably, probably is your ticket and you get to ride to the top of peaks. And with that said, I will see you in the next one.